Hey, today I was thinking about the Seder and the Manashtana popped into my mind that we say, why is this night different than any other night? And wow, is it different? I mean, I'm not at the table that I would have been at. Um, people can't have the people over that they would have had or people can't go to the places they might have been able to go. Um, we're small people um, and we small amounts of people at, at tables where there might have been larger amounts and the food items, you know, they're, they're not as vast as they would have been. There are stores closed, uh, our market is closed and, and, um, I mean, they're doing deliveries, but things are in short of, short of supply and we're not so quick to keep going out and to see things and to see maybe new and exciting things that we would buy. Of course, um, we're not wearing new clothes that we would have bought for the holiday. All these things are very, very different. The normal um, gifts and the normal excitement and the normal preparation and the normal people, it's all different. And whereas normally we would be sitting down at our Pesach Seder and discussing um, the Exodus, uh, God's miracles and our people and what we're about and, and the exile and redemption, we're left to ourselves. We're left to small amounts of people. And, you know, that leads me to think that maybe in a Mida connected Mida kind of way, at least, uh, again, for me, the way I see it is maybe what I'm, the message for me is that, um, that you really have to know who you are yourself before you can give it on to other people. You know, I think that um, there's work that each and every one of us needs to do in order to redeem ourselves. We all have um, issues and problems. And, you know, I think about, like, how they always make fun of Thanksgiving, how it's difficult being, or, or Christmas or whatever, that people have the mass holidays, so I, I see and read about it, is that they talk about how it's difficult. It's a difficult time to be with families because issues come up and, and things come up with people bringing up topics and frustrations and all sorts of things that normal things that families and close friends deal with um, that's difficult. And we lack the appreciation a lot of spending that time together, of just having that common thread, the common bond of understanding why we're friends, why we're family, what it is that brought us together to that table in the first place. And what's so wonderful about Pesach, why I love it, why... It's, it's so redeeming as a person is it just reminds us of where we came from, um, of our heritage, of our story, uh, of, you know, what it means uh, not to have the choices, not to be able to be with the people, not to have the food. And it's, it's supposed to remind us and have this appreciation and this unbound gratitude to God. And I just think this is such an opportunity for us now when we're sitting by ourselves with less people, less food. Not no new clothing, you know, maybe it's much less exciting, is to remember that last year or the year before, or hopefully next year, next year when we'll have a lot more bounty that we can appreciate, really appreciate everything and understand its value and say, Hodu Lashem Kitov. Thank you, God. With that, I go back to my cleaning. Be well.